What's up guys, getting a late start to the vlog today. Today is a very exciting day for me. Let me explain why. So when, when we started GreenBits a little over four years ago, it was my dream to build a fully remote product and engineering team. As you may or may not know, we did not end up doing that. Our team is partially remote. I'm the newest member of our remote team. We have about four other people on the team that are remote. So what I'm really excited about is that we're starting to take remote serious. And today is our first remote work summit. Now that sounds a lot more fancy than it actually is. It's a getting together of all of our remote workers and we're getting together and we're just gonna talk about what's going well and what's not going well in terms of remote work at GreenBits. We're gonna do this monthly and hopefully we're gonna be able to start building a culture that is amazing for remote working. So I'm super excited because I only got four minutes till this meeting and then I have to watch the kids. As soon as that's done, I wanna to talk to you guys about some of the biggest things that I've seen so far in my three days remote working from this office. I gotta, I gotta do this now though. All right, that's it. The first monthly remote work summit at GreenBits is over. Slightly less good turnout than I was hoping for. Just me and Andrew, but we still got some awesome things done. So a couple of the topics that came up, if you're curious about remote work and some of the challenges with it, primarily what we talked about were communication tools and mechanisms. So our plan is to to basically write a document and come up with some guidelines, some guidelines for what tools we should use for what types of communication and when, and what should people should expect from those. Because what we see a lot right now is we use our chat room for everything, big decisions, and no one really knows like sh when you should expect to hear back from something. Will you ex will you hear back from something? Will it become lost? There's a lot of those issues. So we talked about some of that stuff. The other thing we talked about was how to get more, more interaction person to person. So we're gonna try and set up something where we have weekly calls with a random person in the company every week. That's what a weekly call is, it happens every week. You know, just in case you didn't know that. So that you can get more one-on-one more -on -one talks going on, similar to the virtual coffee that Justin and I have every morning really helps like connect you with the world. Again, uh, we're also talking about some meeting time blocks. So one of the biggest challenges for me on the East Coast is I'm the only one working East Coast hours, which means I'm three hours ahead of everyone. But what that means, two o'clock to five o'clock their time, it's still normal hours for them, but that's like bedtime for the kids. And I'm like doing dinner and putting the kids to bed and. It's, it's a real challenge. So we're gonna try and get some meeting hours in place. So basically meetings will only happen from 9 a.m. Pacific till 5 p.m. Eastern, which is really cool because it gives everyone three hours guaranteed every day, either at the beginning or the end of their day, that they don't have meetings, which is amazing. No one, no one wants to be in meetings all day. So those are a couple of things that we're, we're focused on right now on the remote work culture side at GreenBits. I hope you guys are finding this interesting. I'm really trying to document the process of my learning of being a remote worker as this is the first time I've ever done it full time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.